Hello, I'm over here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be making another cooking video. I'm pretty sure you've heard of Bon Appetit. I am subscribed to their magazines and I get an issue every month but um, I have yet to actually cook anything. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're going to cook something for Bon Appetit. They came out with an issue called Healthy-ish back in February of this year. And it is a whole issue on some healthier recipe options and low cal, low carb, whatever. Um, apparently it's something that they also do a lot of on their other website, BeHealthyish.com. I looked through this whole issue and I actually didn't find much in here that I wanted to cook. Um, there's a lot of things that I don't eat and there's some stuff that Patrick doesn't like to eat. So a lot of the recipes that were in the Healthyish issue, I wasn't really a fan of. But they have another one <laughs> called How to Be a Better Baker. And I thought this one was gonna have only baking recipes, but it turned out to have a hidden gem right here called pork and asparagus stir fry. Now, I don't eat pork, so we're gonna attempt to make this with turkey. And although there wasn't much in the healthy-ish issue that I enjoyed, there was a salad in here that piqued Patrick's interest. So we're gonna also try that. And it's called cabbage slaw with charred scallions and lime dressing. Some stuff in here that neither of us have ever tried. So um, we'll see how that turns out. Let's get started. These are the ingredients you need. So to get started here, we're gonna be prepping all of our stuff. Here I'm showing Patrick how to peel ginger. You're going to be seeing both Patrick and my arms here because he is usually here cooking with me anyway. So we're just going to chop everything up. Chop, chop, chop. More chopping and peeling. Oh, little cameo by me trying to get some audio. scallions before. I actually didn't even know what they were and that they're just green onions. Didn't know that. So that's fun. So it says use just the light green part, which I think right here. So what do you do with all this? Of course, we have our trash compost bowl. Oh, I didn't know that green onions can make your eyes water too. Ow! Ow! Okay. Now, this isn't really meant to be like a tutorial because like I'm not a chef and I'm literally just doing what the recipe says. So definitely make sure that you check out the actual recipes. I've linked them in the description below. Of the recipe calls for peanut oil, uh, but we didn't have peanut oil and it's kind of expensive and I don't know if I'd like it, so I didn't want to buy it. But anyway, so we start out with oil. After it's hot, we're going to add our asparagus. Now the recipe says to do it in half bunches, but this is a really big pan, so I figured it'd be fine to just do it all at once. Uh, you're not really supposed to touch the asparagus too much. I'm gonna put a little salt in there, of course, and then kind of just let it blister and get crispy and brown. The recipe says it should take about four minutes. All right, after that, you're gonna put your asparagus to the side. And you put a little more oil in the pan, and then you're gonna put your meat. Like I said, we're using turkey here because I don't eat pork. You're gonna spread it out. 
and then let it brown. You're gonna break it up a little bit. The recipe specifies it with a wooden spoon. I'm not really sure why, but um, I guess make sure you're using a wooden spoon. And then you're gonna add your garlic, ginger, and your scallions, and then you're just gonna cook it until it smells great. About two minutes, they say. And then you're gonna add your wine and your soy sauce and put your asparagus back into the pan. And you're just gonna cook it. Just gonna cook it for about a minute till it's all together. All right, after it's all cooked together and it starts to smell amazing and look delicious and you can't help yourself anymore, <laughs> you're gonna go ahead and put it into a large bowl and then you're gonna put your sesame oil on top and mix it. The recipe says to serve it with a chili crisp on top. Number one, I don't have chili crisp. Number two, I don't know what that is. So we forwent that. Now, on to the next recipe. Again, we're we're just chopping. Like honestly, I I don't know why I recorded so much chopping footage because it's just chopping. There's not there's nothing special about it really. So we're just we're just chopping all our stuff. We're chopping it up. Honestly, the chopping probably took more than the preparation. Oh, look, it's me. I'm peeling the daikon because <laughs> I'm trying to save time. So while Patrick is doing the garlic, I just stepped in and I started doing daikon. So um, we've never had daikon before. So uh, this was an interesting ingredient to have to go buy and prep because I, yeah, I've never tried it before. All right, while we wait for me to chop all this stuff up, why don't you go ahead and give this video a like and maybe a comment and if you're not already go ahead and hit that subscribe button as i post more videos about how i'm trying to improve my life including cooking more yeah all right back to chopping And now, because I'm a little lazy, and because both the garlic and the lime go in the same at the same time, I am just gonna go ahead and microplane these limes into the same container. Because why not, you know? Ooh, smells good. Okay, and then to put this all together, you're gonna go ahead and cook your scallions. You're gonna turn them a few times until they're charred. It says it should take about three minutes in the recipe. The recipe also calls for a cast iron skillet, but <laughs> does it look like I have one of those? No, so we just used a regular pan, okay? After that's charred, that's pretty much all the cooking. You're gonna put the scallions, the garlic, the lime zest, the juice, and the oil all into a blender, and you're just gonna blend it all up. Okay, so in the bowl, you got your cabbage, you got your radishes, and I'm gonna put some of these red onions in here, and then some mint, almost forgot the mint, and then your dressing. Okay, is everything done? Yes, everything done. Okay, let's go eat.
way too tired to do a proper intro, but this is amazing. Um, I'm glad I finally cooked something from those magazines. And uh, maybe I will try some of the new things. The asparagus dish. Mwah. I don't mind the talking in the background. There's other people. Um, the salad, I really liked. Uh, Patrick said it's a little too much lime for him, unfortunately. But I'll eat the rest of it. Could use a little, a little more cayenne, but we're good. Mm -hmm.